Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And we're here today to talk about cash-only businesses. So when you run across a cash-only business, these hidden gems, you're thinking to yourself, wow, this is gonna be a home run. And sometimes that home run takes a lot of base hits to really score that run. So we ran into a, a bakery. I went to a bakery and just because I love cookies and I'm not supposed to eat them, but I got those little smiley face cookies with the yellow cookies with the, with the, with the smiley face. And I went into the bakery and I, I went to buy those cookies and I noticed that there wasn't a credit card machine at the, at the bakery. And so what I thought is, you know what? I'm just gonna whip out my debit card. I was gonna pay cash, but I'm gonna whip out my debit card and see what happens. So that's what I did. The bill came of, I don't know, it's maybe like $6. And I whipped out, I had my debit card and I went to give it to the lady at the counter. And she said, oh, I'm sorry, we don't take debit cards. And I said, oh, you don't? She says, no. She said, we, we're only cash only. I'm thinking, wow, this is gonna be great. And I said, well, I don't have any cash on me. What do I do? Just thinking ahead, see if I would just like being a customer, what would I do? And she says, oh, you gotta go down to the end of the block. There's a convenience store down there and they have an ATM down there. And you could, uh, you get your money and you come back and pay. And I said, oh, okay. And I went outside, pretended like I was gonna go to the convenience store and then I came back and I paid for it. So now what I do is I go in on a different day when it wasn't so busy and I ask to speak um, to the owner and or set up a meeting. Sometimes the owner's busy, set up a meeting with the owner. So uh, the lady says, well, the owner's here if you wanna to speak to him. The guy came around, he was, he was uh, making some bread. He came out and said, yes, can I help you? And I introduced myself, I'm Phil, a local ATM company, and I'd like to just talk to you about a cash solution for your business. And he said, uh, we don't need a cash solution. What we do is if they don't have cash, we just send them down to local uh, convenience stores at the end of the block, and then they come back and they pay for it. And I said, well, did you ever think about that you're losing business? He said, no, nope. we've been here for 30 years. We're happy with the way it is. I'm not in the ATM business. I don't have any reason to have an ATM in the store. Doesn't make sense to me. And he said, and I said, well, can I leave a brochure? He said, sure. I said, just some information about our company. We're a local company. Um, we've been around here for 20 years. And he said, well, thank you very much. And that was it. That was how the meeting went. And so what we did from time to time is I would call or leave a message about the owner. I would stop in, I'd get some cookies. I'm not supposed to have them, but you know what? They were delicious cookies. Bought some cookies, try to talk to the, the lady behind the counter, try to talk to him. Sometimes it was successful, sometimes we weren't. Always did a little pitch, asked, hey, you know, we're still in the ATM business. If you're interested, no, no, I'm fine. We're good, thank you very much for buying the cookies. Um, and this went on for about eight months. Tried, I even sent different people in uh, that maybe it was something with, with my presentation or what I was trying to do. And nope, they assured other people that worked at our company that you know what, they were fine with not having an ATM, they're not in the ATM business, and they stayed fast to their decision. But we kept on going back, trying to have a conversation with the owner, and finally, out of the blue one day, the owner called and said, could somebody come down here and talk to us about putting an ATM in our business? So we always start with cash and dealing with a cash only business. So C stands for provide a cash solution for their customers. The customer has only credit cards or a debit card. They need to pay for their services at the business. And so what we try to do is we try to encourage the business owner to keep the business at their location, whether it's a bakery or a restaurant or a bar and grill, whatever it is, to keep the customers, once they got into their door, to keep them there. Don't send them off property to another business to get cash and then come back because that makes it an event for that business. Now you have to think, oh, do I want to go to that business? I don't have enough cash and then I got to go somewhere else to get cash to come to that business. You know what? In the, in the world of convenience, sometimes you just don't have the time to make that extra stop or do you want to get that extra stop? So you decide to go to another business because of this cash solution. So what we try to do is we try to tell the business owner that we can provide an ATM, their customers won't have to leave and they can stay in the business and enjoy their product. 
So the A in the cash stands for additional revenue. A lot of the times the business owners don't understand that, you know what, we're gonna put an ATM in your location, it's not gonna cost you anything, and you will make commission on a monthly basis. So we can provide an additional revenue stream for your business. That would help pay for an electric bill, a light bill, a car payment, or even a vacation at the end of the year. That just a little bit of additional revenue every year will help pay for those, sometimes those vacation items that you want. And also the increase of revenue from the, the customer, not um, that they have the, the cash solutions in your business will also drive your revenue and sales upwards. Selling the location, the S is for selling the location. And sometimes, as I told you in the story, it took a lot of effort. We hit all the points. We told them it doesn't cost them anything. We told them that they can build, have an additional revenue. We told them that we're gonna provide a convenience for their customers. But we weren't hitting all the points because if we were, we would have been able to put an ATM in there sooner. So sometimes you have to do a little due diligence. You have to ask a lot of questions and figure out what are their pain points in their business. And the H is for history. One of the challenges you run into when you find a gem like, like this bakery is that they've always done it this way. And they're always stuck on, hey, this is not something they're necessarily looking at. They don't, they don't have, they don't take credit cards. They don't want to take the credit card, pay the credit card fees somewhere between three and 4%. They don't want to use another product like a Square or a PayPal. They just want to be cash only because that is what they've been for all these years and they've been successful. And even though times have changed a little, they still stay the same way and it's always worked for them. So when as people started not having so much cash in their pocket, they were fine where the occasional send them down the street to get cash, send them down the street. And then what they, they never really put it the guy, the owner, he didn't work the front counter in this in this situation. He had somebody else working the counter. So to him, he didn't realize all the people that were actually going down the street. And so we asked him, hey, what made the difference? And he said, you know what? I just got tired. I started paying attention to all the people we're sending down the street. I didn't realize how many people we did that to. And I never really worked the front counter. I'm always in the back, doing the books, helping making the product talking to the bakers in the back, I never worked the front. And then after you came in and you started telling us about the program, we noticed that, you know what, or at least brought it to my attention, all the people that actually were going down. And it didn't make sense anymore to send them out of our business, just like you said, and we kept them here. Now they come, they don't have cash, there's an ATM here, and they can get cash and they can stay here. Made it more convenient for our customers. Just like you said, well, I wasn't paying attention to um, those points until you came in and brought it to our attention. So sometimes what you have to do is you gotta get to know your the customer and they gotta get to know you. You gotta get to know them. Then they can, as soon as they know you, they can trust you and they can understand what you're saying. And now you're not just some blue suede shoe guy coming in and just telling them, hey, buy my product, get this, and it'll be the best thing since sliced bread. They gotta actually believe it but it all starts with trust. They know you, then they trust you, and then they can listen to what you're trying to do to help them. And then that is how business usually works, and it works very well. Hope these tips are helpful. Again, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind group page. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. All right, so. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions online asking us, well, how do, where do I buy an ATM, Phil? I'd like to start into the ATM business. I don't know how to do that. So we're thinking about putting together a program that answers some of these questions. I've done, taught people for 20 years how to do that. Uh, it's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, and I thought I could make it maybe, maybe a little bit more efficient by coming up with a program and answering some of the basic questions and helping the people that um, are new to the business, how, how to do that. So look forward to that program coming out pretty soon of how to get an ATM business, how to find locations, how to make money, uh, and basically all the secrets of underneath the hood and how it works. Thank you very much.